G'day people, hope you're having a fantastic day and your family's happy and healthy. Well this is my dual monitor setup and as promised this is a how to video, how to set it up. As you can see I've got the right monitor set up as the passenger side, the main monitor as the drivers and if I want to use the UI to save it from being stretched across both screens I've set it up so that if I press escape, just let me do that now, if you press escape and go back to UI you'll notice that it's not distorted and it's just on the main screen so you can uh, use the UI without any distortion. Okay, so here's what we've got to do to get this multi-monitor setup happening for you. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into your documents folder, either American Truck Simulator or ETS2, because this will work on both. Okay? So you find your config file, config.cfg. Now the first thing I did, if you have a look underneath, I've backed up the config file. I've just saved it as a text file. So always back up, make a backup first in case something goes wrong. That way you, if something goes wrong, you can just reinitiate this backup that you've made. So all I did was I copied this. Oh, sorry. Yes, all I did was I copied this and then made a backup of it and called it backup text. That way, if I want to, I can always revert back to the original. So find your config.cfg, make a backup of it, save it in the same file. That way you know where it is. And uh, I've done that a couple of times. I've made a couple of backups when I've um, tried different settings just to be on the safe side. So back it up, find this file, back it up. Then once you've backed it up, right click on the, the original, edit it, and find, go to edit, find, and find multimon underscore mode. Click find next, and you'll see it down here, multi mode, multimon underscore mode. It will be at zero for you if you haven't changed anything. If it's at zero, change it to a four. That makes it a multi monitor set up okay so change multi multi mon underscore mode to four it'll probably be zero in your case then once you've done that click on file save and close it so now your config file is set up to accept multi monitors all right once that happens you'll find a another file in the same area called multimon.config oh sorry multimon underscore config dot sii i'll leave all these names in the description so you don't get too confused okay so multimon underscore config sii make a, a backup of that as you can see I've, I've done a backup as well so make a backup of it just to be on the safe side in case something goes wrong and once you've made a backup, right click on that, click edit, and you'll find a whole heap of different numbers in here. And rather than confuse you with what all these are, I'll just quickly explain what the top section is here. Okay, the top section here where it says normalized UI underscore X, normalized UI underscore width, this is just for the user interface. That's what UI stands for, meaning the main screen of the game that you go back to to uh, you know, find uh, jobs and etc. You don't want that stretched across both screens because it distorts it. Your monitors will be numbered. You'll see here monitor zero, monitor one. Okay, they're the two monitors that you're using. You'll be zero and one. All I've done here is I've put in 0.00, .00 as the monitor I UI X. All right, that means that it will be on the first monitor, the left monitor, and I've normalized the width to half the width of both screens, meaning that it will only show up on one of the monitors. All right, so that's what that is. But I'll give you a copy of all this that you can simply cut and paste into your multimon underscore config dot SII file. All right, so you'll have a copy of this. Just copy it, paste it in, and away you go. Don't, in other words, you just you 
completely copying this and dropping it over the, into your Multimon config SII. Nothing else. Okay? This will then set up your multi monitors if you've got two 27 inch monitors at 1080p. I'm not sure if it'll work on any other size monitor. Again, this is just what I've done. So if you've got two 27 inch monitors at 1080p, this will definitely work. I'm not sure if it will work on other size monitors, but it won't hurt to give it a try because you've backed up your multi monitor config. So if it doesn't work, you can always revert back to that. All right. So this, like I say, this multi-monitor config sets it up to exactly the way you saw in the beginning of this video. All right. So once you've done that, what you need to do, you need to go to either your AMD or Adrenaline software to set up your actual monitors into one monitor. In AMD, okay, Adrenaline Edition software, you go to Gaming, Display, okay, and then down here it'll have AMD iFinity, all right? This is for AMD. AMD iFinity. All you have to do is simply click on Quick Setup. Bang. Now, don't know if this is going to work on the recording. Screen has gone blank. That's all right. What I've done now is I've set it up to stretch across both screens. You can't see that because unfortunately it's on, it's, I'm recording on the wrong screen. <laughs> anyway, it worked. Now I'm just going to go back into Adrenaline and turn it back. You can then just go down to AMD iFinity and discard setup and click yes. Now it'll start to come back from the blank screen and you'll see the setup again. I hope. Yes. Okay. So now we've come back. But that's all you've got to do. So down the bottom here, unfortunately I can't show it because of the way I'm recording. But if you click quick setup down here, it will set up the iFinity which stretches the screen across both screens. All right? So that's AMD. In NVIDIA, I, I think it's called Surround. Surround. I think it's just called Surround or something like that. I haven't got NVIDIA, so I don't know what it's called, but it's basically the same thing. You've just then got to uh, find that setting in your NVIDIA control panel, click that, and it will stretch the one screen across both. All right? So that's it, basically. That's all you've got to do. So running through those steps again, find your config file. Quickly do it for you. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Documents, American Track. Find your config file. Right-click on that. Edit. Change your Multimon mode from zero to four. Boom. Done. Then the next one is your mul backing them up every time. The next one is your Multimon config. Right click on that before you do, make sure you back it up. Then I'll provide this as a text file. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can then copy and paste it into that folder, that file. I'm sorry. If that file doesn't exist, all you've got to do is make one. All right. And then plonk this into it. All right. So find multimonconfig.sii, copy and paste this section here which I'll leave in the description as a text file or on my community page. Either way, I'll leave a link to it and copy and paste that into that file and you're basically ready to go because then all you've got to do, go to AMD software. Again, I'm not going to do it because we'll lose recording. Click on quick setup here and it will then set up the dual, a dual monitor for you. You can then, once you've finished doing that, you can just click uh, discard setup and it will go back to your normal um, view of the two different monitors. Same thing in the NVIDIA. Click the surround, I think it's called. It will then stretch the one screen across both. 
once you've finished, go back into NVIDIA and click uh, undo. I'm not sure what the settings are in NVIDIA, but they're very similar and you, you'll be able to find it. Okay, so I hope that helped. And if you've got any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and yeah, so if it did help, like the uh, video, subscribe if you haven't. It's uh, free, you might as well. It helps me out. And uh, yeah, share it, let people know. And hopefully uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.